Okay, this five minute tutorial will focus on your three main points and the best way to get the most and create the content that you are comfortable with. Uh, it all starts, of course, with your choice of topic. Once you have your choice of topic, there are any number of ways that you can look at your topic and try to highlight three main points. Uh, for instance, some topics lend themselves to history. Here's how it was 100 years ago. Here's how it is now. Here's how I think it will be in the future. Three points. Some topics lend themselves to uh, variety. For instance, if I was giving that speech of, in, about Hawaii, I might say, you know, there's so much to think about, to do. I might narrow my thoughts and go, uh, I'm an animal lover. I love animals. And so today I want to focus on the animals of Hawaii on land, in the ocean, and in the air. These are the, and now, now I have all types of animals to go from, from the marine to the birds to the animals on the land. And I've taken the broader topic of Hawaii and narrowed it down just to animals. So you have to kind of take some time and think. And I can't emphasize this enough. Thinking is really important. Thinking about how do I want to lay this out? Is it, is it a process that moves forward? Is it a look back in time? There's so many things you can do, and that's the fun part. This is when you actually have a chance to be creative. I don't like to tie people down to a strict method because it creates boredom and it shackles your own ability to create and to think. And that's where it all starts. So whatever you decide, try to come up with these three points that are tied to your topic but have their own place in understanding what your topic is about. That's really the best way to go about it. Now, let me say uh, where the outline comes in here is many of you, you know, you'll think, okay, here's point one, here's point two, here's point three, and you'll write it down. But the beauty of the outline is that after you write those points down, take a time to yourself and look at it and really be honest with yourself. First of all, and say, are these the three best points? Are these, you know, separate yet equally important to understanding the topic? And then look at the sequencing. Just because you thought of the point first and wrote it down first doesn't mean it's be it belongs there. And your example is the outline that I gave you uh, from the student who talked about anxiety. She originally had what to do if you see someone having a, a panic attack. She had that as her first point because it was at the top of her mind and she wrote it down. And so as I looked at her outline, I really you know, suggested to her that this, this point about what to do if you see someone have, having a panic attack is best last, last, left for the last, to go last. After I understand what anxiety is and how it can be manifested, now you're tying into the audience. And you can never forget your audience. You, this is to inform the audience, right? So it's not about you. It's about leaving the audience with something. And so that was a natural to get to the end and say, here's something you in the audience can now do. Now that you understand what anxiety is and what situations bring it on and what are the types and the warning signs, now I leave you with this last point. What can you do if you see someone having a panic attack? And so this was a great example of someone who just wrote it down because that was at the top of her mind. But upon reflection and collaborating with me, we figured out that's the final point. So don't be afraid to move things around. 
in your three points and really be honest with yourself and say, is this the right progression? You'll get your three points much easier that way and your audience will appreciate it.